Hey gang, it's time to make some rosettes because three of the guitars in the historical guitar project need them. I've got the modern guitar, the 1880s Torres, and an 1816 Martinez Salon guitar. And when you're doing this kind of work, there is a whole lot of sawing involved. You know, I glue up the veneer into strips and then glue the strips into lines and then the lines into blocks. And then I just put on some good music and saw away until my fingers get sore. Though it actually does take quite a long time to do this. After I've got that all sorted out, I pick up the compass cutter here, and you've seen me do this before. I'm just uh, outlining the margins of the rosette, giving myself a good clean cut on both the inside and outside. Then I use the laminate trimmer to get rid of most of the waste in between those. Getting up pretty close to the, the lines, I leave about you know a 32nd of an inch or so, which uh, I will remove using a chisel. I scrape and cut and uh, get that out of the way. Here I'm using some paraffin wax on veneer strips, which I will inlay into the channel. I don't do this to all of them, just the ones that uh, I will be removing so I can inlay the mosaic block uh, motif in the center. And also the rope braid. Now here's a fun project. Um, you get yourself about an inch worth of strips of veneer and bend them around a circle. Uh, no, actually, it, it works pretty well most of the time. Um, the other times there's a lot of cursing involved and you end up having to do it over again. Um, this time it went okay. I know there are different methods of making rosettes. This is the one I like. It's, it's just easiest for me. Here I am removing those wax strips. Sometimes I'll use uh, plastic guitar binding if I've got some of that kicking around that's the right width. If not, then I just wax it up and both methods work fine. Comes out really easy and clean. And then we'll uh, put the little blocks on the uh, inside here. It all looks pretty messy at this point, but it's going to get messier when we put some uh, very thin glue on the entire surface. That gets down in, inside between the lines. It locks them all together and um, holds them in place. Then we'll use a block plane set for a very fine cut and pretend it's a little race car and go, vroom, go around the bend. And then this is a cabinet scraper just to get off the very finest, wispiest little shavings at the end. It's, it's easier, it's, it's less damaging to the soundboard. So there we are, we've got three rosettes. I use the same motifs and the same materials for all of them, just in slightly different ways. I wanted them to all relate to each other, because they're part of a series, uh, but I wanted them to each have their own individual character. And I think that looks pretty nice. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.